It's a tremendous loss. I found him such a unique head of state. He took decisions that other people have been afraid to take. He didn't deal in diplomatic niceties, anything like that. If he felt something had to be done, he said, right, I'll do it. Previously, some of those things have been unthinkable, unthinkable for a president of Egypt to go to Jerusalem, unthinkable. He not only made it thinkable, he did it. And he said, I'm going. And he went, and it was a tremendous success. And then there was that wonderfully courageous thing. And everyone else was wondering, well, what can we do about the Shah of Iran? He was in hospital in the United States. It seemed as if a man who had been such a friend of the West had no home to go to. And all of a sudden, President Sadat said, send him to me. I'll give him a home. It was wonderful. He gave such marvelous leadership, and with such heart and such warmth. He didn't always get the acclaim he should have had, but I hope he got support from many of us. If you do positive things, you always make enemies. What effect do you think his death will have on the already delicate Middle East situation? I know that every democratic leader will try to restore stability, will try to restore certainty. I'm quite sure that the, the leaders in Israel and the, the leaders, the caretaker leaders in Egypt and the leaders who will be elected will try to get that agreement carried out between Israel and Egypt. First, they'll feel they owe it to President Sadat. And you know, there'll be a tremendous wave of loyalty and affection towards everything he stood for.